wellness keepers and how are we on today i hope everyone had a great week thus far thanks for tuning in and today's topic we're going to talk about friends that's right today you will learn jesus is the best friend you or anyone else will ever need our memory verse today comes from Proverbs 17 and 17. A friend loves at all times. He is there to help when trouble comes. So let me ask you, young promise keepers, can you imagine having Jesus as your best friend? Hmm, I bet you didn't know that Jesus had friends. Today, you are going to learn about three of Jesus' friends named Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. So stay tuned, this next short video is going to teach you just that. A man by the name of Lazarus was sick in the village of Bethany. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. This was the same Mary who later poured perfume on the Lord's head and wiped his feet with her hair. The sisters sent a message to the Lord and told him that his good friend Lazarus was sick. When Jesus heard this, he said, his sickness won't end in death. It will bring glory to God and his son. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and brother, but he stayed where he was for two more days. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. I'm glad that I wasn't there because now you will have a chance to put your faith in me. Let's go to him. When Martha heard that Jesus had arrived, she went out to meet him but Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Yet even now I know that God will do anything you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will live again. Martha answered, I, I know that he will be raised to life on the last day when all the dead are raised. Jesus then said, I am the one who raises the dead to life. Everyone who has faith in me will live even if they die. And everyone who lives because of faith in me will never really die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are Christ, the Son of God. You are the one we hoped would come into the world. After Martha said this, she went and privately said to her sister Mary, the teacher is here and he wants to see you. She knelt at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw that Mary and the people with her were crying, he was terribly upset and asked, where have you put his body? They replied, Lord, come and you will see. Jesus started crying and the people said, see how much he loved Lazarus. Some of them said, he gives sight to the blind. Why couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Then he told the people to roll the stone away. But Martha said, Lord, you know that Lazarus has been dead four days. It will be a bad smell. Jesus replied, didn't I tell you that if you had faith, you would see the glory of God? Father, I thank you for answering my prayer. I know that you always answer my prayers, but I said this so that the people here would believe that you sent me. Lazarus, come out. Untie him and let him go. All right, young promise keepers. In that video, you learned Mary, Martha, and Lazarus had a rare privilege. They had Jesus as a best friend. They knew firsthand what a good friend Jesus is to everyone. What an amazing sight that must have been for Jesus to come to your house, sit, eat, and be your friend. Don't put your trust in things, young promise keepers of this world, but put your faith in something that will last forever, a friendship with Jesus. We can take three main points from this lesson on today. Jesus can give us eternal life. Jesus always answers. And he's our comforter. I'm going to ask you, young promise keepers, a question, and I want you to give me the answer as loud as you possibly can so that I can hear you. 
Are you ready, Young Promise Keepers? All right, first question. Who was Mary and Martha's brother? Hmm, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I hope you said Lazarus because you are right. All right, Promise Keepers, number two. Why was everyone crying when Jesus arrived at the home of Mary and Martha? Tick tock, tick tock, tick. Hmm, Lazarus had died. That's right. So everyone was outside of their home weeping and crying because Lazarus had passed away. Last question, number three. What happened when Jesus called Lazarus' name in front of the tomb? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. When Jesus called Lazarus' name, Lazarus woke and he walked out of the tomb. That's right, Lazarus came back from the dead. Now again, I bet that was an amazing sight for everyone to see that was standing in front of the tomb. Now because we're talking about Lazarus, our craft activity today, that is what we're gonna kinda recreate our own little stick craft of Lazarus. Get ready to get your supplies ready. I'm gonna tell you what you need. All right, so to create our craft stick Lazarus on today, the supplies you need is four small popsicle sticks about this size, okay? A larger popsicle stick, because this will be the body of Lazarus. About a quarter size round piece of paper out of anything you would like. And I have two little eyes here. It may be hard to see, but these do also can be dots. So any little small thing out of black construction paper, anything to create eyes. The last thing you need is bandage and glue. All right, are you ready, Promise Keepers? So to start, we're gonna glue everything all at once. So you're just gonna take a strip of glue on your stick. All right, Promise Keeper. And you're gonna make two arms for Lazarus. Go ahead and put the legs on, two legs for Lazarus. This brown piece of paper that you needed is the head for Lazarus. And the two dots that we were talking about, we're gonna go ahead and attach those as well, Young Promise Keepers. So right about now, you should have the Lazarus body, should have a head, two dots, two arms, and two legs. Once you have assembled all of that, you're gonna allow it to dry, maybe an hour, because you don't want anything moving once you get it set. Now, once it dries, Young Promise Keepers, you're gonna take your bandage, okay, and wrap it all around the body of your stick character. So when you're done, you should have a finished product that looks exactly like this. Wow, look at Lazarus! That is our Lazarus. And yes, I know I used a lot of bandage, but that was just my preference, Young Promise Keepers. All right, so wave bye-bye, Lazarus. Bye. I hope you enjoyed our craft activity on this week. So this week, it's now time for me to give you your guide work. So parents, please share a time in your life when Jesus was there for you. Tell your child the circumstance and how Jesus answered you. Kids, if it's been a while, take some time to get on your knees and pray with the friend you have in Jesus. If you have never ever taken that step, it's no better time than now to be Jesus' friend. All right, with that being said, it's now the end of our lesson. So as usual, we're gonna end in prayer, Young Promise Keepers. So let's bow our heads and put our hands together. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our friend. Help us to be good friends to others as you have been to us and help us live life that let others know Jesus loves them, amen. Thank you again for tuning in, Young Promise Keepers. See you soon. 